whether they allow advocate therefore to see him before court commences. We see that. Yeah. Isn't it that you're seeing judge about the same matter, the severe matter, is it a different case? I'm expecting the highest professionalism of the highest order. I spoke to the prosecutor and I spoke to my colleagues here that as normal and as is the tradition of the court, if there is anything that needs to be addressed and cannot be addressed in the court public, because this court is so worse because it's different. The proceedings here are being pro uh, protested, you see. So my request was that uh, we need to see, are you listening? Yeah. So that we can deliver the message without any dis uh, dis dissipation. So um, that we should first see the judge in chambers because the reason we are here, myself and my instructor we are here, that need to be discussed first in, in the chambers of the judge. It's a protocol. And that indication of me as the court officer showing the highest respect to this honorable court, that there are other issues that you cannot just say in the open court, whereas this one is uh, televised. That's the request I did. And then I've agreed with my colleagues here before Advocate Valoy came here. When Advocate Valoy came here, I told him also in my introduction to him, then he said, okay, it's fine. He will wait uh, for the secretary. Now what you are coming up with, I'm um, flabbergasted, you see? So no, without, without any argument, I'm saying that we, we need to go to the chambers of the judge before the case can commence. That's a message that we can deliver back to the judge. Thank you. Can you please